The 2024 Karifta Games is less than three weeks away and hundreds of the region's best young athletes will descend on Grenada, the Spice Isle, for the 51st staging. Of course, that will be live on Sportsmax on that Easter weekend. Some athletes have already gone through their respective trials, including host nation Grenada, as well as St. Kitts and Nevis and Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and perennial champions Jamaica. Conrad Francis, president of the Grenada Athletic Association and chair of the operations committee, joins us now via Zoom to discuss Grenada's readiness to host the games. Conrad, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. Haven't spoken to you in a while. Um, uh, talk to us quickly about um, the Spice Isle and uh, its anticipation of welcoming the region's best athletes for the Carifta Games on the Easter weekend. How, how, how ready are you? Uh, pleasant good afternoon to you. And... To all listeners to your station. Um, I would say that we are quite ready. And um, we are just putting the finishing touches on. Um, as you know, it's just a couple of weeks away. So I would say that we are we are ready. Yeah, I remember your first staging in 2000. I was covering those games for the Caribbean Media Corporation at the time in your brand new stadium. A lot has changed in Grenada since then. And you have hosted again since then in 2016. How much would have uh, your experiences hosting in 2000 and 2016 assisted in making sure that things work well okay. again uh, for 2024? Because I thought they were uh, pretty good in 2000 and 2016 as well. Okay, Lance, are you saying that um, the last time you, you was in Grenada, it was in 2000? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've been there. The case. I've been there since that, but I've not been there. I didn't cover the 2016 Carifta Games. So I, was, I, was, I was just mentioning that of the two times that you've hosted it before, I was there for the 2000 hosting. I've been there since then, but not for track and field. Okay, okay. Because I was about to say that you have really missed a lot, you know, because <laughs> um, our country has changed a lot since after Ivan in yes. 2004. Yes. And, um, you know, we rebuilt our stadium in 26 in 20. 13 and hosted the 2016 Carifta Games. Yes. Um, so again, this is the third time around, and we are hosting on a brand new surface. We have, um, through the efforts of the government, the support of the government, um, we are able to have the, the track resurface. It's a new surface. Um, it is the Bainon Company, the same company that made the track at Oregon. And as you know, that track is a fast track. And so far, we've had like three games on the track, and the timings have been pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So we expect a high standard from the games. We expect some very good performances from, from our athletes. Uh, as a matter of fact, as we speak, um, our intercom all games is taking place. And I don't know if you know that, but um, our intercom is the is the mini version of um, of of boys and girls champs, you know, in the Southern Caribbean, it is the biggest thing that you can ever see in track and field. Mm -hmm. So that is taking place on the track um, as we speak, and um, um, we are getting some very fast times. So yeah. we expect that the character games would be a super one. Yeah, well, I, I know some Grenadians who would not suggest that it is the mini version of the Boys and Girls Champs because they think it is is better than Boys and Girls Champs. But I, I, I get the picture because I picture because I know how big the Intercol games are. Uh, from a from a from a local standpoint, though, Conrad, how strong is the Grenada uh, track and field age group program at the moment? Um, by way of, you know, making a mark as the host nation, because you like to see when nations host the Carifta Games that they have athletes that can build up excitement for the fans, not that they aren't excited about other star athletes from other yeah, countries. Yeah, I, I think our, our, our track and field program has had its, its highs and lows. And um, I would say at this point in time, we probably do not have the, 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 the height among uh, among the team, we cannot say that we have uh, uh, Anderson Peters or Hazeland Regis or Lyndon Victor in the making. But what we are promising our, our fans is that if they come out, they will notice and will actually see some new stars will be born. 
um, because our athletes, they, they are working hard and um, they are eager to satisfy their, their home fans. And as you speak about the turnout, I'll have to ask you, how has the response been when it comes to ticket sales and just the word on the street, you know? Are the Grenadians really excited for this event? Are they, you know, eager and coming out to support? Because I always find like a full stadium. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you clearly. Can, can you hear me now? Just a little better. Yeah. So I was asking you, how has the ticket sales been? Because, you know, once the turnout is big for an event like this, it creates a different atmosphere. I, I, I'm still not getting the gist of your question because I'm not hearing properly. Okay, all right. Yeah, she's just asking about the ticket sales and how 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 is the excitement building for the event for the local fans? Oh, okay. Yeah, but ticket sales has been going very good so far. In fact, um, the the main stand is, is sold out, um, and we have sales are picking up in the secondary pavilion. So the main stand was just over 2,500 500 people. And then we have the, the beaches, which can hold 3,000. And then the secondary pavilion, something like 2,273. So that is picking up very well. Um, the main stand is completely, is completely sold out. And um, in the next coming days and weeks, we expect that the that's will be sold out. Our, our people are a track and field people. Um, and, and, and they love track and field. They come out to all our meets. Um, we'll have little practice meets and, and people come out and they turn out. They support their athletes. And we expect the same for the character games. And they will not be only coming out to, to support our athletes, but they look at the Caribbean as, as the athletes of the Caribbean as our athletes also. So they will be cheering for for all the athletes of the of the Caribbean Caribbean basin. Because as we say to them, don't miss that opportunity to see these athletes perform. Because these are the athletes that you will see in the next couple of years performing at, at the world level, at the Olympic level. So we want you to be to be there to see them so that we can say in the future when they achieve that you have been there and you saw them. So we believe that our people they would they would buy that 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 slogan of ours and come out and support our athletes, whether they are Grenadians, Jamaicans, Bahamians, they will support. And one important factor is that Lance, um, we have always staged successful games. And athletes, as well as fans, as well as officials, they love coming to Grenada. And that is reflected in the numbers of athletes that are coming for these games. In fact, these games will be the biggest character games ever in terms of participants. We have registered thus far 780 athletes and officials to take part in the games. The stats has shown us that that will be the biggest games of, of, of the character history. So, and a lot of fans are coming in, a lot of spectators are coming in. So, we expect Lance, if you are looking for, if you haven't booked in a hotel yet, you may not get a, get a room. Yeah, well, the Sports Max team has already um, booked or, or and reserved our or spot, so there's 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 no chance I was missing missing yeah. out missing out yeah. there. But but Conrad, you said something very important just now, and it's the fact that a lot of our world stars and Olympic stars are born out of Carifta competition. I remember in 2000 when I was there, and Veronica Campbell was a very very impressive winner of the 200 meters. Amadeo Francis, who was at, time, at the time the NACAC president, which made him the IAAF vice president, it was the IAAF at that time and not World Athletics, he predicted when he saw her running there that she would have been an Olympic champion. And um, that, you know, is indelibly written in my mind uh, when I look at some of the stars that we saw at the Carifta Games. And it was so easy, based on the quality that you were seeing, to predict that they would transition in, into world stars. Right there in, in Grenada, we know of the history of Kirani James, who the stadium is named after. 
and Anderson Peters, who both went on to be to be world champions. And I agree with you, Conrad, if you can expand on that, that there is no question that when uh, the fans come out to see the Carifta Games this coming Easter weekend, they will be seeing some athletes in another three or four years that will be world stars, we think. Yes, Lance, um, there has been a plethora of, of athletes that were born at the Carifta Games. Um, you, can, you can continue... To, to name them, I mean, you have the the world world medalists from from the British Virgin Islands, the the hurdler, right? All these athletes, they were they were born, they were made from yeah. from from the Kyrgyzstan Games. That's Kyron McMaster. Um, Kyron McMaster. Yeah, was McMaster. Just yeah uh -huh. in, in in fact, in, in, yeah, and in fact, McMaster started started his hurdling career in Grenada. He attended a hurdles workshop, which um. Which Coleman did for us in, in I think it was in 1998. You mean the and Jamaican coach Fitz Coleman? The Jamaican yeah. coach Fitz Coleman. Yeah. Yeah, Fitz Coleman. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he was a participant in, in that workshop. And that's where he was founded. So, and he went on to character greatness. Yeah. And now he is a world, world medalist. So, there are many, many artists that were born from the character games and, and Amadio said it said it right. Um we can even speak about Usain Usain Bolt. He was a character medalist, albeit probably not in the four in the one hundred, but two hundred I think and four hundred meters. So it is important that our region support our athletes. Right? And as as we say in in our team, it's it's one people, one region one character games yeah. uniting uniting our region so it is it, it goes beyond beyond performances on the track you know it, it has the character games is embedded in the politics in the in the region as as, as you know i wouldn't want to rehash the history of the games yeah but um we all know that the, the games was founded by i mean born the, the politicians shipped the character after after the character games, you know, um, the, and it really emphasizes the unity of our Caribbean region. And if it's one thing that unites us, after probably, uh, I, I don't know if I'm committed to say that after the West Indies cricket team, is is the is the character games, uh, you know. So I, I think it's a very very important factor, and I think our people knows that and they will come out and support our athletes and be there yeah. to say at least I was there when this athlete, this Jamaican athlete won the 100 meters or, or this um, St. Lucian athlete won, won the 100 meters. Yeah, and before you go, um, Conrad, I want you to, you, you touched on it earlier on about Grenada's current uh, strength and you did say that you have, you know, ups and downs during your your you know, d during the, 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 the history of the Carifta Games, but you have 186 medals, 54 gold in your history, um, ahead of bigger countries like Guyana and, and St. Lucia. Um, so how satisfied are you then with what Grenada has offered over the years to the Carifta Games? We know you have some standouts. That is, that is, in, that is not in dispute. But how would you measure the overall input that Grenada has been able to to apply as far as uh, Carifta Games track and field is concerned? Yeah. Yeah. Our our effort has been tremendous over the years. And um, for a small country, just over 100,000 in population, we believe that, that the contribution that we have made um, to the Carifta Games is enormous. And, and that is exemplified furthermore you know, success at the at the world level because all of our athletes who reach elite standard and have won medals at whether it's Olympics or World Championships, they were product of of our character team. And it speaks to to our structure. We have a very good structure in Benita. Um and it is it is very similar to that of of, of Jamaica. Um where where all our schools from even pre-primary schools, they have their track meets. And our season is packed, is packed with track meets. And people come out and support and give these athletes 
give these artists support. So we have a very defined pathway for, for our artists, and, um, and we provide the competition for them. Um, can we do more? I would say yes. We, there's always room at the top, and we are always um, um, willing and there to support our athletes and, and develop programs so that we can unearth more, more talented athletes. We have a very rich history at the Character Games. From the very first Character Games, I think it was in 1972, I think only six countries participated, the other six or eight countries participated in that games. And Grenada was one of those. Because as you know, as we are celebrating our 100th anniversary this year, so we have been formed a very, very long time. And our people have been participating in track and field events. And our history will show that right through. Mm -hmm. Right? Or at our very first character game, we won six medals. Uh, Eros Rapier won the javelin, which last which was a record which lasted for over uh, over almost 30 something years. Right? And we had Morris Bull Williams winning the 5,000 in 1981. That was only broken by by your Jamaican star star over the, at character games. Uh, his name just slipped me now. Campbell, would it be but, Campbell? Kimoy Campbell? Kimoy Campbell. Yeah. So so we have laid a real foundation at the character games, yeah. and it has that has put us above yeah. most of of our OECS countries. And yeah. as a matter of fact, in 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 the year um, 2001, we came second behind Jamaica mm. with, with 22 medals. And then the next year in the Bahamas, we, we, we were third, where we won the most medals ever, 22, 22 medals. So our contribution towards the character games is, is well documented. And we think that, that this year we will, we will put on a very good performance. At this point, I cannot say we're going to we're going to do this or we're going to do that. I, I leave it for our people to come out, cheer our athletes on, give them your support, and at the end of the day, uh, you, you, they will be satisfied with our team performance. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good way to put the lid on this discussion, Conrad. Always a pleasure talking to you, and all the best with your uh, local organizing committee in getting things ready for the uh, Carifta Games. As we said to our viewers, uh, Sportsmax will have live coverage of uh, the Carifta Games that Easter weekend, Saturday through to Monday. And we'll be in touch, Conrad, and uh, all the best to you and your team. And hopefully the Carifta Games will be as big and as exciting as it has always been. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Lance, and it is a pleasure. And and we're looking forward to welcome Sports Max in covering covering the games. We are preparing well for you. Yes. And we hope that you you will enjoy. We will, I'm sure. We'll be back. With more on the Sports Max Zone after this.